earthquake is perhaps the most overwhelming of all natural calamities like cyclone, flood or tornado. Over the years, the world has witnessed innumerable destructions because of earthquakes. Houses, buildings and entire cities have been ravaged by it. Thousands have been perished. In 1897, the Indian state of Assam was rocked by a severe earthquake of 8.7 magnitude on the Richter scale. Assam was turned into a pile of rubbles. Almost 2,000 people died. The severe tremor of 1897 also hit some other states of India and had an impact on Bangladesh too. It caused complete destruction to around 500 houses and partial destruction to about 8,000 houses in Dhaka. Apart from Dhaka, scores of people also suffered in Silet. Prior to 1897 and even afterwards, there have been a number of earthquakes in Dhaka and other districts of Bangladesh, but we have been fortunate enough not to have been badly affected by it. Bangladesh is locating uh, near the parade boundaries, northern part Himalaya and the eastern part Myanmar. And they have had many earthquakes in and around Bangladesh and affected many earthquake damage in the, in the, in the past. But in these hundred years, there is not so big earthquake damage in this area. And now the possibility of the next earthquake becomes high. The vulnerability of Bangladesh becomes high, so the earthquake risk is very high in Dhaka, Chittagong and Siret. Bangladesh lies within the geological fault line, making it one of the earthquake-prone countries of the world. Any time, it can be badly affected by a large-scale earthquake. Bangladesh is ভূমিকম্পের প্রবণতা বা সম্ভাবনা নির্ভর করে কয়েকটি উপাদানের উপরে যেরকম সেই দেশে টেকটোনিক কাঠামো কিরকম ওই এলাকায় ভূতাত্ত্বিক গঠন কেমন ওই এলাকায় ভূতাত্ত্বিক চ্যুতি সক্রিয় কতটুকু এই সব উপাদানের উপরে এটা নির্ভর করে বাংলাদেশ তিনটা প্লেটের সংযোগস্থলে বাংলাদেশের অবস্থান এবং বাংলাদেশের অভ্যন্তরে ভারতীয় প্লেট এবং বার্মা প্লেটের সংযোগস্থল जुमुना मेघना अबबायिका मध्य बिराज कर उत्तरे रही है यूरोशियन प्लेट एवं प्लेटगुल इंडियन प्लेट सिक्स सेंटीमिटार छयटीमिटार बेगे उत्तर पूर्व दिखे धावित होवे बार्मा प्लेट से सेंटीमिटार बेगे पश्चिम दिखे धावित होंगे अभ्यंतरे बस कैकटी बड़ दैर्घ्य भूतत्विक च्युति এবং এটা খুবই সক্রিয় এবং বাংলাদেশের পার্শ্ববর্তী এলাকাতেও বেশ কয়েকটা ভূতাত্ত্বিক চ্যুতি রয়েছে যেটা গত একশো থেকে চারশো বছরে এখানে সাড়ে ছয় থেকে সাড়ে আট মাত্রার অধিক ভূমিকম্প এখানে সৃষ্টি করেছে এবং ঢাকা যেহেতু বাংলাদেশের রাজধানী এবং বাংলাদেশের কেন্দ্রে অবস্থান এবং ঢাকার নিকটেই কিন্তু বিশ থেকে চারশো কিলোমিটার পরিধির মধ্যে এই ধরনের বড় 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 চ্যুতিগুলার অবস্থান গত দুইশো বছরের যে ভূমিকম্প আমাদের এলাকা এবং পার্শ্ববর্তী এলাকায় সংঘটিত হয়েছে সেই সব ভূমিকম্পের ইপি সেন্টার বা কেন্দ্রবিন্দু আমাদের বাংলাদেশের মানচিত্র প্লট করার পরে দেখা যাচ্ছে বাংলাদেশের প্রায় পঁয়ষট্টি ভাগ অংশ উত্তর এবং উত্তর পূর্ব এবং দক্ষিণ পূর্বে যে পঁচিশ ভাগ অংশ সেটা ভূমিকম্প কবন এলাকা But what is Bangladesh's state of preparedness to face such a probable earthquake disaster? আমরা আগে পুরনো সময়ে যেমন পঞ্চাশের দশকে ষাটের দশকে যেসব বিল্ডিং তৈরি করেছি সেগুলোতে ভূমিকম্প প্রতিরোধী ব্যবস্থা খুবই কম ছিল সরকারি অনেক গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ভবনও আছে যেগুলো অনেক পুরনো তো সে সমস্ত গুরুত্বপূর্ণ ভবন আমরা পরিত্যাগও করতে পারবো না এমনও আছে যেগুলোকে ভেঙেও ফেলতে পারবো না এছাড়াও বাংলাদেশের 
প্রাইভেট সেক্টরে প্রচুর বিল্ডিং প্রকৌশলীদের সহায়তা ছাড়াই তৈরি করা হচ্ছে এগুলোকে আমরা নন ইঞ্জিনের বিল্ডিং বলতে পারি যদি কোনো মাঝারি কিংবা বড় আকারের ভূমিকম্প সংঘটিত হয় তাহলে এই সকল বিল্ডিং ভেঙে পড়ে বিস্তর ক্ষয়ক্ষতি সাধিত হতে পারে Our preparedness for earthquakes is very negligible compared to our preparedness for other natural calamities. Every day, initiated by both the public and private sectors, we can see unplanned construction of thousands of high-rise buildings in the densely populated capital city Dhaka and other cities as well. This stand amounts to inviting a disaster, more so when in many cities of the country including dhaka there are presence of innumerable old buildings that have not been built according to the bangladesh national building code bnbc in the event of an earthquake such buildings are more vulnerable to destruction there is high risk for the buildings in dhaka chittagong and silet and the ones that are still being constructed of getting badly damaged by a moderate level of earthquake many people stand to lose their lives and properties and resources worth thousands of crores may be damaged statistics of a report published in 2009 by CDMP suggests that in case of an earthquake hitting the outskirts of Dhaka with tremors higher than 7.5 magnitude on the Richter scale would cause damage to around 320,000 buildings and bring death to about 89,000 people in Dhaka. Thus, it is imperative to turn the old and upcoming buildings into earthquake resistant structures. PWD government is in the core construction agency. We have to give the PWD to the PWD. We have to give the graduate civil engineer তারা এই জাপান এক্সপার্ট টিম আমাদের গ্রাজুয়েট ইঞ্জিনিয়ারগুলোকে শেখাবে কিভাবে ডিজাইনটা করতে হবে এবং এগুলো দেখাবে রেক্টো ফিটিং ওয়ার্ক ফিজিক্যালি দেখাবে ওরা যখন চলে যাবে তখন আমরা অন্য অন্য বাইরের যেসব ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং অর্গানাইজেশান আছেন রোডস অ্যান্ড হাইওয়ে এল জিডি শিক্ষা আমাদের এরা তখন ওদেরকে ট্রেনিং দিবে উইথ দিস এইম ইন ভিউ অ্যান্ড আন্ডার গাফমেন্ট ইনিশিয়েটিভ JICA and Public Works Department have jointly taken up a four-year program from 2011 to 2014 to turn the government buildings into earthquake-resistant structures. Under this program, in the primary stage, Japanese consultants will provide training to the engineers of the Public Works Department on seismic retrofitting procedures, plans and construction techniques for making government buildings safe from earthquakes it is hoped that at the end of this four year program people would be more aware about the devastating consequences of an earthquake and be prepared to combat it like other natural disasters meanwhile the consultants of jica are imparting both theoretical and practical training to the engineers of the public works department on ways to enhance durability of buildings. The consultants regularly conduct classroom sessions, interactive discussions, meetings, and demonstrate expertise and skills to the engineers in different techniques of seismic retrofitting. Initially, the selected six retrofitting techniques are concrete jacketing around column, RC shear wall, RC wing wall, steel framed bracing, carbon fiber sheet wrapping around RC column, slit on brick standing wall. These would help Bangladesh in tackling natural disasters, especially earthquakes. concrete jacketing around column in this process the pillars of old buildings are stripped of plaster and a cage like structure of rods is built around the column then concrete is mixed to bond with the rods again thus casting concrete anew of 10 to 20 cm thick around the columns gives it higher strength and durability 
RC shear wall. This process involves removing the plaster from two existing columns and putting on a coat of chemicals. Thereafter, a frame of rods is erected across the length between the two pillars and concrete is cast to build the wall. Thus, the entire area in between two pillars and two beams is made into a wall. This increases longevity and durability of the building. RC Wing Wall In this process, the plaster of an existing column is removed and the beams on two sides of the column is drilled to make holes. Thereafter, chemical is applied and a frame is constructed of rods and bolts. Concrete is cast and the wall is then put up. This helps in giving an old building higher structural strength. Steel Framed Bracing This particular retrofitting technique uses steel plates. In this process, a specially designed steel frame is made and placed between two columns. Then, rods are patched around the steel structure and subsequently, non-shrink grout is poured to fix the steel frame with the existing RC columns and beams. This process of designing a steel structure between columns patched with rods gives the building more strength. Carbon fiber sheet wrapping around RC column. This process involves wrapping up the columns with carbon fiber sheets after the columns have been stripped of plaster and chemical applied in layers. It is important to ensure that during the wrapping up process, no gap remains, no fold is created and air bubbles are not present. Slit on brick standing wall. In this process, a section of the brick wall beside a column is slit and cut off from the column. This helps to maintain the structural balance of the building. One of the components of this program is to hold seminars and exhibitions. These are organized regularly to raise awareness on the selected six retrofitting techniques amongst the engineers of government and private organizations besides the public works department. Furthermore, the trained engineers of the Public Works Department would in turn provide training on retrofitting, general techniques, drawing, structure and quality control measures for construction of earthquake resistant buildings to the engineers of other government and private organizations. The aim of this program is to transfer knowledge and train the engineers of the Public Works Department on construction of earthquake resistant buildings and application of retrofitting techniques for risk prone and old buildings. I am a Japan worker. I এইজে সিএনসিআরপি প্রকল্প এই প্রকল্পের 4 বছর মেয়াদ শেষে আমরা একটা অত্যন্ত দক্ষ এবং উন্নততর ডিজাইন টিম পাব গণপূর্ত অধিদপ্তরে We strongly believe this would pave the way for a new era of construction of earthquake resistant buildings in Bangladesh